Okay, so hey guys, welcome to Edge 3D CGI and in this tutorial we're going to go ahead and quickly go through of how to create this eye really quickly, okay? So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this really quickly, get rid of my light and we're going to go ahead and create a NURB sphere first of all, okay? So go to create NURBS primitives and go to sphere and you're just going to go ahead and drag one out right there, okay? Press 5 on my keyboard to go ahead and see what I have here. Okay, so the first thing you're going to go ahead and do is go ahead and um, open up a Hypershade. And if you don't know where that is, go to Window, Rendering Editors, and Hypershade. And once you have that, go ahead and click Blin to create a new Blin. Okay, and let's go ahead and assign this to our sphere. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is while this is still selected, so I'm just going to select my sphere and right click on my material and assign material to selection. Okay. So as you can see, we'll have a sphere right there. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to double click my shader, which is the blend that we just made. And as you can see on the right hand side, the attribute editor will pop up. And if it doesn't, just press control A on your keyboard and it should pop up for you. Okay, so next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is go to a color attribute, click on this little checker box, and this create render node should pop up. And here we're going to go ahead and find our ramp. Once we have that, in the type, we're going to go ahead and select a U ramp. In the interpolation, set none. Okay, and make sure we go ahead and press 6 on our keyboard to go ahead and get up a shade of you. Okay, so once we have that, we can go ahead and click back on our um, on our sphere, go back to our blend node, and press this little icon, okay, and um, the ramp will pop back up. So here, all we got to do now is just set our colors, basically. So let's go ahead and do that. So for our blue, I'm going to go ahead and set a black, like so. For my green, I'm going to go ahead and set, um, let's say he's going to have blue eyes. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and drag this up. And then for our red, we're just going to go ahead and set um, white. Okay, and there's our eyeball basically finished. So what we can do next is we can also change its size. So we can go back to our, um, to our ramp. And we can go ahead and make the eyes smaller. Okay, so the pupil. We can go ahead and make it bigger and so on so you can go ahead and mess around with these settings I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure that you guys can see this properly so use default lighting okay and there's our eyeball all finished and created if you want this to be a little bit smoother select your sphere again press ctrl A and go into your inputs of make no sphere 1 select both of these by shift clicking and then hold down your middle mouse button to go ahead and increase the divisions. Okay, and that should give you a very nice smooth eyeball. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you guys hit the like button if you did. And I'll see you guys in another tutorial.